Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. I'm going to try out something different today. We are going to be vlogging. I saw one of my good friends, Aram, from Remax Real Estate on his YouTube channel, vlogging it up a little bit. Um, and it seems like people have been enjoying it. I surely have been enjoying a lot of his videos and a lot of his vlogs. So hopefully I can bring you guys into my day-to-day -day, um, situations and routines and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. It is a stunningly beautiful day here in Arizona. Nice and cool this morning. We got a paint chip repair service we got to get to. This is already a previous client of mine. She has a beautiful Dodge Durango RT with this gorgeous red. We're going to do a little bit of touch-up paint here and there in a couple areas of the vehicle. Bring you guys into that. And then we also got an interior an exterior detail on um, I believe a Hyundai Sonata later in the afternoon as well so I'm gonna tune you guys into those and hopefully you guys enjoy first things first we got to go close up the garage just gotta close this bad boy all right and then we also got to go ahead and just throw my gimbal in my case real quick and then we're gonna head out one thing I always like doing guys I do like waking up a bit earlier just to get myself ready as you can see I even have enough time to do a bit of a video right now but I go ahead check my van make sure my tires are filled up um, I do have an issue with one of my tires where they do get flat on a regular basis I would say every other week I have to pump it up besides that guys I also just make sure I go around the van make sure I got everything I need because sometimes I do work on customers cars in the garage over here as well and I take things in and out so I just want to make sure I have everything for the most part um, IK sprayers, Miralax sprayers, all that good stuff, um, all my sealants and stuff like that. But went ahead, filled up my water bottles as well. Make sure you guys are staying hydrated even on cool days. Um, it's really, um, you might get hit unexpected with dehydration even on these cooler days if you're working real hard. So, But yeah, guys, I'm all set to go, so let's go ahead and roll out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start this beast of a machine up real quick. Oh, yeah, buddy. Listen to that beautiful four-cylinder purr. I'm just kidding. This thing's disgusting. I hate this car. But it's what I got to live with right now. So let's go ahead and get shit done. All right, guys. Like I said, the first customer is the chip repair service. This is one of my previous customers. Um, I just did a wash, seal, and clay bar service on a vehicle just a few weeks ago. Um, it's a pretty new Dodge Durango RT in this beautiful red. And as I was washing the car, I did notice a few areas that needed a bit of touch up. So I suggested um, the servicer and um, she was more than willing to go ahead with the service, which is a great thing because those chips can get worse in time if you do leave them the way that they are. Um, even though we're in Arizona and it's a desert, there's a very um, low chance or likelihood of them rusting over. Um, they can still get bigger within time the more you drive them because remember air, dust, sand, all that's abrasive to the painted surfaces and those chips will get larger within time if you don't address them. So we're going to go ahead and take care of those real quick as our first appointment and I'll tune you in in just a few minutes. Alright guys, and we are here at location. Here is the beautiful Dodge Durango I was talking about. One thing you guys got to take note of is this is a gated um, area so you have to take note of your customer's gate code and things like that uh, to go ahead and get in. But let me show you guys the areas that we're working on real quick. If I can bring you in. So there is one right over here. This is the first one that I noticed. As you can see, right over there. And there is another one on the hood as well, if I remember correctly. Yep, there it is. Number two. Those are the only two that I found on the hood. But let me bring you back over here to the rear bumper. And this one is very noticeable. It's not really a chip, it's more so of a nick right over there. You can see the black plastic underneath the paint. And then also, let's see, there's one right over here that we're going to try to address as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now this is a unique one. I'm going to have to kind of chip away to the excess um, paint that's elevated over here. I kind of squished in and then go ahead and fill it in from there. Now, there is still base coat underneath there. As you can see, it's red. We don't see any plastic or primer or anything. So that's a pretty good thing. So we still have some paint. We don't really have to layer this one too much. Um, just one or two times, let it cure, and then we're pretty much set to go there. And let me bring you guys into my paint chip repair system. Um, usually I use Dr. Color Chip. If you guys see my Instagram page, link is in the description below. 
I'm always talking about how awesome Dr. Color Chip is because it's a, it's a really awesome system. But you know, Dr. Color Chip is sixty to eighty dollars um, depending on what package that you have to purchase for the vehicle. So just that alone might be out of some people's price range. So once in a while, I do um, just go ahead and grab uh, the paint system from the dealership with the exact paint match and use my calligraphy pens over here to help me out with the process. I don't use the tip or the brush or anything on these. I just dab some paint inside my calligraphy pens to go ahead with the process. But I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of do this. It's not simple, it's not easy. You do have to dial it in, and it does take some time and patience with the system, but you can still get some pretty good results. I wouldn't say as good as the Dr. Color Chip system, but you're pretty close. Um, and if you do spend a bit more time, uh, you can pretty much get it there. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Besides that, I just got some Optimum No Rinse and also some IPA solution, two fresh microfiber towels, and also just an old towel to rub off excess paint and things of that nature off my hands. So first things first, guys, I'm just going to take my O&R solution, do a quick wipe down on the areas that we're working on. You don't have to wipe down necessarily the whole panel. Um, I just do the section area with a couple of inches to spare just to minimize any kind of contamination or anything like that um, getting into the chip. So spray it down with O&R after that. I usually take a Q-tip, go ahead and get some IPA solution inside the chip just to make sure any, any prior sealants, waxes, anything like that have been removed outside of the chip so it doesn't cause any trouble with the paint trying to adhere onto the surface of the vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, so here's my calligraphy pen all set up. Got my paint inside. Now, when you do go ahead and take the paint pen over here, make sure you go ahead and shake it up for about a minute or two. Get all the metallic flake and everything like that mixed up if there is any, um, and the, any other type of solvents or anything like that that need to be mixed up. So make sure to do that. And when you go ahead and take that pen and put it into your calligraphy pen, um, just use the brush. Don't go ahead and try to pour it in. Just use your brush and slowly fill it up with that that comes with that pen right over there. We're just gonna go ahead to the chip in just a few moments and fill it in. All right guys, just finished the touch up. Let me bring you in real quick and show you the results. Again, I wasn't able to use Dr. Color Chip this time around. The results would have been much better, but I just worked with what I got. It's lacquer, dealership paint, those typical paint chip repair systems, the pens that you get. Um, so they are a bit difficult to work with. A service that would usually take me about 30 minutes with the Dr. Color Chip system, not even took me about maybe about 45 minutes or so to go ahead and knock out for my customer today. So these systems do take a bit longer. It's lacquer paint as well, so they do take a bit, don't mind the nails. <laughs> um, this is typically what happens when I don't use the Dr. Color Chip system and I have to use those calligraphy pens. But, um, but yeah, let me show you guys the results real quick. All right, guys, so here is the first chip right over there. As you can see, it's a whole lot better. Again, this is lacquer paint, so it's a bit darker right now, but as it cures, it's going to lighten up and match a lot better with the rest of the paint over here. Let me bring you on to the most difficult one that I was working on, and that was this one over here. Now, it's looking a whole lot better. It's not perfect. You can't really notice it too much from a distance, um, and on camera, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, that took me forever to do. That one little chip right there was like a... 15 20 minute process alone um, but the rest of the vehicle turned out pretty good so besides that guys pretty simple process overall um, I wish I can go a bit more into detail on how to do it specifically with the calligraphy pens I'll do a video on that later I just don't have too much time today um, but we're gonna go ahead notify my customer that we're all set to go um, take care of payment and then we're on our way guys just arrived on my last and final job for today we got a Hyundai Sonata again this is an exterior detail followed by the interior detail as well um, so it should be a pretty simple process we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it this vehicle also has some chips so we need to go ahead and examine and see if we could do some chip repair um, some photos were sent out to me they look pretty gnarly but I'm gonna go see it in person right now to see if I can do anything about them so let's go jump straight in all right, guys, the day is over. I should say the night is over for me. It's about 7.40 right now. Usually I close at 6, but um, I had my sponsor BMW over. We were doing a wash, uh, maintenance wash, interior detail, um, just a quick polish and recoat of a panel, and then also um, some paint trip repair as well. So my customer just got off of work, came by, picked it up, um, wished him a great rest of the day. But right now, guys, is the part that not a lot of detailers talk about. 
and that is cleaning up. I got the van all opened up over here. We got to go ahead, clean out the buckets, fill up the buckets, get all the towels ready, stuff like that. Just get all the stuff ready for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I got a Jaguar XF that I'm taking care of. Uh, let's see how much water I got going on. Oh, I got plenty of water. I got about 20 gallons left in there. So I got a Jaguar XF coming up for tomorrow. Um, exterior detail, clay, uh, one set polish, and then also um, 12 months sealant. So um, I'm thinking about testing out some of these wax shop stuff. Maybe doing a one step, let's see, with the rebuild over here, the rebuild 2000. See how that goes. Now I tested this out just a few days ago. Works really well. I like it, but I'm kind of debating between using this or using Stone Axe right now um, for the Jaguar. But let's see how that finishes off tomorrow when I go ahead and do a test panel on the on the Jaguar. So um, Jaguars typically don't have the best paint, so hopefully that job goes pretty well. Uh, next thing I do is also wash my towels. I got a lot of towel buildup over here. Take care of all those. I still have fresh towels always on tap, guys, if I need them. Um, but I do like just going through the towels I've already used and using brand new towels all the time. Uh, I just pretty much use those till they're kaput, downgrade them, and then grab the new towels. So, but yeah. Besides that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to our first vlog. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you do like this, comment below. Ask me any questions if you have any questions. And like always, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.